Hello everybody, my name is Rocky and this is where I talk about fashion, a lifestyle in my city of Chicago and just a little bit of beauty. Today we're deviating just a little bit about fashion in Chicago because one of you gave me a really great idea about a video concept. The idea is that this person wants me to style a little black dress five ways. How would you style it in Chicago, Atlanta, New York, LA, and San Francisco? Let's get right into it. So the very, very first way, and so <laughs> you're gonna laugh at these. So I would love in the comments down below if you have if you live in any of these places or if you've ever visited any of these places, do you think any of this is true? So I'm gonna start with my hometown of Chicago. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna get dragged for this one. But uh, what we're gonna be doing is using this um, simple um, little black dress. And it's not simple. I mean, it's stylish, right? The ruching is, it's, it's forgiving on the body. It has the one, um, asymmetrical arm kind of a thing going on. So it's stylish. It's trendy. <clears throat> it's a little black dress. So in Chicago, I'm going to start, I, I guess I'm going to say, I'm going to start with the simplest. In Chicago, when we go out, we try to carry as little as possible. First and foremost, you're not going to park very close to wherever it is that you're going. So you don't want to be carrying coats, even if it's winter now, carrying coats and bags, change of shoes, none of that. So you got as little as possible. So it's very simple. You're not trying to get stuck up, robbed, none of that. So you're not wearing your best. You're going to look cute. You want to look sexy but you're not wearing your best <laughs> out to the club at one o'clock in the morning. So you're coming out, no bag, if you can, with no purse or the very small purse, but just with your car key, because you either, now if you're an alcohol drinker, you drank already on your way there, or you're counting on somebody to get your drink when you get there, because you're a lady, right? Now the shoes, I, I probably would have preferred to do Jordans or Dunks, but I don't own any, but the shoes are very common that you'll see somebody wearing shoes that are very comfortable. Now women wear heels, don't get me wrong, but in Chicago, you gotta be ready to you know, wear something comfortable so you can get down and dance and get sweaty because we do dance at the clubs. You wanna be able to twerk, do footwork, all of the things in between and run if you need to, if a fight breaks out. <laughs> But this is how you would style the little black dress if you were in Chicago. The next place I'm gonna pick is New York. And you would think gritty and grimy just like Chicago, but it's not quite. Now in, in New York, that's probably one of the um, pinnacles or centers for uh, fashion. So you're gonna do something a little bit stylish when you go out. Now you still wanna keep it simple because it is a little black dress. You don't wanna overwhelm the dress, but the collar necklace to me seems something that's a bit not couture, but just a little bit different, but it's still stylish and flashy. Flashy is New York, right? And so that's why I got the iced out watch there for your viewing pleasure there. And you, you're gonna find the iced out watch on both men and women. Now, when it comes to the shoes, my friends, it's, it's, it's Timberland-esque, but not a Timberland. It has the platform that's in right now, hardcore leather with the buckles that roughs and, roughs and toughs it up to give you that New York style. Very contemporary, very stylish, but it's really cute because it is sky high heels. And that's what I think of when I think of going out in New York. The next one, my friends, is Atlanta. I think, of, are we kind of going, no, are we going east to west? No, we're not. <laughs> um, Atlanta, and I'm thinking Southern charm across the board for Atlanta. And this could be Atlanta, it could be Carolina, it could be Mississippi, you pick one. Pick one of them Southern places. And when I think about Southern charm and Southern style, I think about being complimentary, being matchy, um, things like that, and not in a bad way, just very subdued and charming and very feminine. So I pick the pearls to go with this. I picked um, a matching pair of shoes and a bag that matches the shoes. Now the shoes and like, you know, it seems, it, Atlanta's a type of place where you match your shoes with your belt, with your bag. <laughs> so I picked something that was very classy, classic, kind of has you something that makes you break your wrist and be feminine or tuck and be feminine. Um, and those were the things that I chose and the shoes are very simple, very clean. Now, of course, there are the ones, you know, I'm not saying everybody is the same there. You will find your sky high Louboutin shoes and all of that stuff. Or um, some people might do quiet luxury in that sense. You know, those who are probably in, um, I don't know where. <laughs> But 
that's not what I see when I think about um, Atlanta, but this would be the way that I think that uh, women in Atlanta would style the little black dress. Now let's move on to LA. LA is flashy, my friends. They're gonna show you every logo that they got. It's new money. When you get rich for the first time, the first place you go is LA. You go to Rodeo, you do that sort of thing. So I'm thinking what could get me the most attention? So I put this kind of, you know, very, um, loud in your face brooch on that has the GG Gucci symbols on it. The bag is a Ferragamo bag all up in your face. And then um, the shoes, bright, shiny, just wow, here I am. Um, and that's what I'm thinking about when I think about um, LA. Now the last one might surprise you. And this is what I feel like when I get to San Francisco. It's like there is no attempt to be stylish or fashionable at all. It's more about who can spend the most to look the most regular. <laughs> so I'm thinking if they were going out to go for drinks with some friends, they want to kind of like act like, you know, they're everyday normal people. So they'll throw on, you know, an overshirt and some sneakers. But Believe you me, that overshirt costs a lot. That overshirt is a Ralph Lauren overshirt that costs three, four hundred dollars or more. It could be Laura Piano for all I care that, you know, thousands of dollars. Um, they're going to do um, a little bit of jewelry, something understated, something dainty. But believe you me, that little diamond or pearl or stone, whatever it is, is the same stone that friggin Princess Diana wore to some coronation of or some sort. And there's some story behind it. Even though it looks real simple, <laughs> there's some long story and it costs a whole lot of money just for that little pendant. And then the sneakers, while they may look very simple, just plain black sneakers. And the reason why they are sneakers is because they walk around a lot. They try to, you know, take the BART sometimes, you know, and, but San Francisco is not that big of a city, so you can kind of walk it very easily. Um, so you want to be comfortable. You don't want to be the one tipping around town in, in heels and you should have comfortable footwear. Um, but even though the footwear looks very simple, they're actually a very expensive pair that are nearly a thousand dollars from Barney's New York. And you think it's regular leather, but no, it's some sort of reptilian skin, some... <laughs> They try so hard to look regular, but it's not actually regular. It costs a lot of money. Um, it's it's quiet luxury done, ordinary slash grunge style. Hmm. I'm, hopefully I'm putting that together in the right way. And then of course you gotta have your crossbody bag cause you wanna be hands-free, but it can't just be any old crossbody bag. It has to be made with the finest leather and all that good stuff. And you can't know exactly where it's from. So it should not have any logos all over the place. You gotta look really close to say, if you know, you know, then. <laughs> so that's uh, that to me is San Francisco style. In a way, I would say that I am all of those styles. Um, interestingly, it just depends on the day that you catch me. There's nothing wrong with any of those styles. Just, the, just where am I going? Who am I with? What am I trying to accomplish? And there's a little bit of me in all of those styles. And that's what I, I think I really appreciate about my style is really organic. It's about the way I wake up and how I feel. So I'm not turning up my nose at any one of those styles. I'll do, obviously I'll do all of them because I had all of those things <laughs> in order to style those looks. So um, that's what I love about fashion. Every day you get to be whoever you want to be when you wake up in the morning, just however you wake up feeling, that's how you get to dress. So tell me, what do you think? What was your favorite? How, how did I get the, did I get the personalities right um, for each of those little black dress styles? If you've ever lived there, do you live there or have visited there? Does it match? And then how else would you style it? And do you have any other ideas of how you'd like to see me style a little black dress? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Leave me comments down below.